Hi folks, my name is Thomas. I'm a Salesforce developer at PDFCon. Welcome to this video where I'm going to walk you through optimizing our WebViewer SDK source files um, so you can deploy them to Salesforce and kind of store them in your static resources. So let's go ahead and open up our browser here. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just go to the nav bar and type pdfdrone.com, go to our website. From there, I'll select the developers tab and I'll just switch to the download center here. So what we'll do is we'll collapse the guide section and expand our SDK downloads here. And then our latest version 8.4.1, uh, we can go ahead and download it by clicking on the download button, which will take us to our download page and then uh, we can get our latest version here. After completing our download here, uh, we'll go ahead and unzip our zip file. And then uh, we'll go into this folder and we'll just open it up in the terminal. And uh, let me just blow up the font size here so you guys can see better. Um, but basically now the goal is to run our npm run optimize script. And what this does is it takes our source files and optimizes them for deployment. Um, in this case, we, we're getting an error when running the script. So there's a few missing modules, it looks like, um, but we can simply install those manually. So I'll just go ahead and uh, use our npm install command and I'll add all these missing packages here. Let's give that a second to install and then I can try to rerun my script. And it looks like we're still missing one more module. So I'll just go ahead and also install FS extra. So every time you see this cannot find module um, error, you can just go ahead and install them manually like this. Okay, so now our script should be ready to go. So I'll go npm run optimize and I can see the prompt now here for optimize, which means everything um, is ready to execute our script. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll just go through these prompts now. So I'll say, yes, we want to have a backup of our original files. Um, we're deploying to Salesforce. So I'm gonna say no to WebViewer server and we're not using Zod, which is a different document format. So I'll also say no, but let's, um, for the next question here, um, let's say we do want office support. We do want legacy office support. So I'll say yes to these two. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and install the full API. So if you want to use redaction, for example, or if you wanna use PDFnet, uh, make sure you say yes to this question here. And I'll go ahead and say no, um, because we don't need support for Android devices. We also, for this purpose, don't need a production version of PDFnet, so I'll say no. And we're not using content editing, so no for this one. And then um, finally, do you need to, to deploy to Salesforce? So this is the important one for us. So make sure you say yes here. And then um, we don't need the source map for WebViewer UI. And then I'll just confirm everything here by saying yes. So. What this does is it compresses the files here and you should see um, the screen message confirming that everything was optimized correctly. So you'll, you'll find this new folder now in your source directory. And if you open it up, you should see all your um, zip files in there as well as your resource meta.xml files, which you'll need for deploying these to Salesforce. So just go ahead and copy them and then paste them into your static resource directory in your project folder. That's all folks. Make sure to watch the next video in the series to learn how to deploy your optimized source files. Thank you.